You're listening to the Cricket Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to part two of our IPL retentions and releases Judgment Day. <laughs> That's what we should have built it as Judgment yeah. Day. Uh, we're rating teams A, B, C, or F, depending on who they have retained or released. Um, remember to like and subscribe, as we said before the break, to the video or to the podcast, wherever you are listening. Ross, we're doing the top five from last year now. We're talking the Glory Boys. You know, they had good squads, they provided the thrills. And not so many of the spills in last year's tournament. Who finished fifth? Who who were the bubble boys just missing out on the playoffs? It was Delhi Capitals. Uh, Delhi Capitals. Mm-hmm. The Delhi Capitals. Right, I I've got notes on them. Um, Delhi Capitals. I am giving them an A. An A. Ooh, okay. An A. An A. I love what they've done. I think they freed up a, a decent part purse, so they've got nineteen point four five crore to play around with in the auction. And all that has really cost them is Shardell Tacker and Tim Seifert. Tim Seifert doesn't play for them. And Shardell Tacker was probably their worst player who did. Um, it's <laughs> it's a it's an absolute um, yeah. It's a, it's a it's a great piece of business. Uh, they'll be in the market for a couple of things that that could really help them out. Uh, potentially another Indian. Batter, although they're not like badly understocked there, but somebody who could slot into the middle order might be useful. Uh, they, they might see Mayan Kagawal as somebody that they could buy and and sort of force into that role, as an example. Um, and I think they'll potentially be in the market for uh, an all rounder that can bat in the middle order as well. Name Sam um, Curran. Sam Curran is going to, there's going to be a few interested teams. They, they, these boys are one of them. I wouldn't be stunned, bearing in mind the ponting factor, if they, they were the, the team that, that went yeah. for Cameron Green and and tried to get him in um, somewhere. And obviously I, there's I, Warner as well. I don't think it would be the, the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, and, and they've got Warner uh, and they've Marsh. got Rich Marsh. Yeah, so there's a few Aussies knocking around. Um, I, I think they could do nothing and still put out a team I think would have a very good chance of making the playoffs. Um, yeah, mm. Warner and Shaw opening up, Rishabh Pant in there. I think Rothman Powell's overrated, but he did have his moments. Um, I, I think he's the overseer. If people will ask who does who does this middle order player come in for, I think Rothman Powell. Uh, and then you play uh, Norkia and Mustafa Zur as two of your seam bowlers, and, and you've got like Cole Deep as as a spinner, and or Sakaria as a, a, a left arm option. Um, they're they're you know, Aksha Patel. They're they're pretty stuffed with talent. I mean, I've not. I should have done that in like a reasonable eleven to to show what I meant. But <laughs> I think side. they can they can make a they can make a they could probably make a play for someone like Agarwal. Um, I think Agarwal uh, would be a brilliant addition to this side. Yeah. I, th- I, th- or, I think you know, like the, when we had um, before the major auction, they had yeah. really really strong Indian domestic talent. I yeah. think adding Agarwal to this, they'd pretty much re- recreate that. Yeah, he obviously takes Shreyas Iyer's spot in that old school Delhi team. Yeah. Um, so that that yeah, I mean that's an option. Or or if they don't get him, lump on for a, an all rounder upgrade on Rothman Powell. Uh, not that Rothman Powell's necessarily bad, but. If you could, if Rothman, if you could get Rothman Powell with the bat, plus they could bowl, then you'd be onto a real winner. And I, I, th- I think Sam Curran and Chris Green could probably just stop Chris, Chris Green. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they, he's got the same name and the same initial, so sometimes and <laughs> Chris Green. and Cameron sound similar, don't they? Uh, yeah. So yeah, I, I'm saying A. Hey, that's it. Yeah, okay. next team. I wouldn't disagree. Next team. Uh, I like what they've done. RCB. The RCBs. The RCBs. Uh, yeah, well, I'm 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 going straight in for them uh, with uh, with a B because they've only got rid of five players. They haven't done much. Uh, they've managed to palm off Jason Berendorf on Mumbai Indians, which is absolutely hilarious. And um, they basically retained the really good side that they had last year. The only thing that doesn't make it an A is that they haven't done anything, haven't done very much, so it's not very exciting. That's that's my only criticism. <laughs> I, I think uh, the the side they the, the side they put together last year was. Um, I think we had it down as like a very, you know, a, a pretty strong 11 and then maybe not a lot of backup. So um, that might be where they want to want to pick things up. But obviously, they're not going to have a huge amount of money to do that. But it's um, it, it's all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little surprised they kept David Willey. 
but I think that could just be a a depth a depth him. thing. And he's a decent, he's a pretty decent player. I'm not I'm not saying it's a bad thing they've done. I'm just a little surprised that they have. But um, yeah, I'm overall, surprised I think it's one player. Good. One player. What? I if I was RCB and I was big brained Hessen, I would have actually dropped Faf to Plessy. Oh, yeah. So seven, seven crore. Um, I think his Drop better days. Uh, his better days are behind him. I think you could have probably picked him up for uh, a lesser fee than that. And someone like Finn Allen, who actually shows genuine intent at the top, uh, when you've already got kind of the the nerd wells in the uh, in, in the middle overs, um, is is useful. Um, and I also think that they need to have some backup for Glenn Maxwell. Obviously, broke his fibula this week. Um, he might well be fit for the He's tournament. Supposed not... to be back, they've said. Exactly, but it's yeah, a bit how... far out, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, like... A broken leg is you, you can't be sure. It's not a bad you? break. You might be all right in four months' time. You might not. Yeah, probably won't be very fit. And, yes, and, the, and the, the firepower element to them was the issue. Glenn Maxwell provided that. And I think actually if they would have got rid of Faf, opened up that space, they would have had, what, 16 crore, 17, uh, 15 crore to play with, um, which would have just given them a bit more flexibility mm. and they could have gone back to Captain Beast. Cool. I think that's fair, Max. I haven't really got much to add. They, there were some really interesting rumours flying around beforehand. They were going to like drop Maxwell and Hasaranga and Patadar. Should have been, you know, yeah, I mean, certainly the first thing would, would have been quite big, uh, but they didn't, and the, and therefore it is boring. So B, <laughs> yeah, B <laughs> <Beef> boring. <laughs> <laughs> Um, right, next uh, thing, Ross. Luck now, super giants. Um, I've got them. Uh, verdict is a C. Plenty of C's round uh, today, lads. Not not everyone doing great in their homework. Um, I think they've put some quite useful players back in the player pool that could have done a good job in their team. Um, they have freed up twenty three and a bit crore. Um, they've got rid of T20 Supremo Manish Pandy, um, who could go and be a, a, a cancer on another team. Um, Jason Holder being released. He did cost them 8.7 crore, um, but I thought was quite an effective player um, for them. Um, I'm not convinced that Mark Wood will actually get on the pitch for them. So um, retaining him for the, the high price they paid was a surprise because it's an Ashes year. It's a World Cup. Is it World Cup year? Next, yeah, ODI yeah, World Cup. ODI year. World Cup. And so I'm, I'll be I'll be very surprised if Mark Wood ends up playing for it. And then they dropped Kamira, who yeah. actually I thought did all right. I thought he was. Oh, he was basically a... played instead of Mark Wood last year, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, and I thought he was a good option for them. Um, and then they've kept Kyle Mayers. I know he only cost fifty lakh, but fucking hell, that's fifty grand wasted. Um, and they've released <laughs> Evan Lewis. And I'm just I didn't really understand that. So that's um, madness. That I, is madness. I, I think their moves there don't really make much sense. I think Evan Lewis would be a good pick up for another team and he's cheap at two crore. Kamira will be a good pick up for another team, cheap at two crore. Holder adds something to some of the other teams that I think Luck now needed. Um and yeah, I don't think they've uh, done it as just done as well as they could have done. I I so I think they Holder had I think his economy ended up being over nine. So I think he got hit a couple of times last year. Mm. Um I think that might be a bit of an overreaction to possibly a couple of poor games. I'd, I'd maybe agree with that. And I also wonder whether his economy ended up being stung a little bit because he had to bowl some of the overs that Mark Wood might have had to bowl. And, he, he, you know, if that makes sense, like he's having to do a role that they didn't expect him to do. Um, I wonder whether they've got ideas above their station. You mean <laughs> you mean Sam Curran and Cameron Green? Yeah, I yeah. I, I feel like they're, they're, they think they're going to be in the market for that. I, I kind of agree with you as well, Ross. I'm, I'm not 100% sure Wood will play. I'd have, I'd have thought Wood must have told them that he intends to mm. for them not to have dropped him because what was he, 11 crore or something like that? It was, it was, a, it was a fair a fair whack. Um, well, it no, it's seven and a half crore, so it's still a fair whack, whack though. Yeah, mm. like I said, 11 crore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> rhyme. Uh, yeah, it does rhyme. Um, so I'm surprised they, they wouldn't give themselves... That's bad. Well, I, I, you know, I, I'm sure surely something has happened there for, for them to have yeah. him around. Um, if he does play, that's pretty big. I I, I don't really hate it. I think C is probably fair. I, I, I don't know if they have to do some of the things. There were do. rumors, weren't there, about them chopping the Stoin as well, which hasn't really? come to pass. Yeah. I mean, that would have been very interesting if they'd done that. Uh, and Jason Holder. But I, I, I'm with you, Jack. I think I think they I think the 8.75 for Jason Holder is is them going. Let's see if we can get Sam Curran or Cameron Green instead of Jason Holder. They might be and able to buy Jason Holder back. If they fail, they'll get Jason Holder back. Yeah. That's, the only problem that's... with things like this is that if if Jason Holder comes up first and well, yeah. I don't know, it's CSK risky. say we'll have him for 2k, 
and he goes to Crosser. He go, and he goes to CSK, and then They're one of the trouble. people they actually want to come up, <laughs> they are in trouble because mm. they can't actually financially compete with some of the other teams. Yeah, I mean they have twenty three, so uh, yeah, there, there is maneuverability. That's definitely. not. That's actually not bad. That's actually I think that's no, the but third, it's not third highest. If you're it? if you're doing if what they're doing is is going into the auction with a specific player in mind then they will not be able to buy that player if one of the bigger teams wants it. Mm. Like, like... Some risers could literally just go, we're going to pay 23 for Sam Curran. No one else can get him. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, apart, from, apart from Punjab Kings, who will go, okay, well, we're going to play <laughs> 19 for Cameron Green. And then, yeah, then they're stuck. Yeah. I also find this guy, the Cameron Green chat at the moment, the guy... That's got no track record. Oh like, no, it's, no, everyone's it's, talking no, about it's, it's purely yeah, Carl Jameson. Like, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, another yeah. Carl Jameson. He's got that. He's exactly, he's Carl Jameson, but can bat a bit more than him. And yeah. I'm sitting there going, I want to see. I want to see him play. I want to see this fucking huge bloke come and try and play and make him play at the cheap or so they can see what happens. <laughs> I mean, I think he will be useful opening the batting, but I do question what his bowling will be like because he's been quite expensive in the internationals uh, I've seen him in. I think great in test matches, his... sure. Great in test matches, but... Yeah. Um, I, I also think Lucknell's Luck Luck squad is still solid, I think. Yeah, um, it's a decent team. So, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I think, yeah, the, the bowling... Was, if Markwood plays, that is a really, really useful lineup. Um, And I think Mossin Khan last year did really well coming in, and he was a nobody, right? He was an absolute nobody. Yeah, they got double Khan, um, didn't they? And then I, Mosin. I also wonder... Do you remember the... the I, 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 I genuinely wonder whether they're thinking Agarwal as well. I think that could be the other, the mm. other play because I think he'd fit quite well into that team. Deepak Huda had an excellent year last year, but it was his best year by miles. Um, and they, didn't they have like Crew and Pandya in the top five? Well, they, yeah, they were Bedoni kind of batting in that five role, didn't yeah. they? Four or five yeah. role. If they could and get, he... you know, if they're if they're getting rid of Evan, Evan Lewis batting three and stuff like that, if they got rid of Evan Lewis and they managed to land Agarwal. Then suddenly, K.L. Rahul, Quinton de Kock, Agarwal, uh, Huda, Stoinis. Don't even sort of, and they could also fit, the rest. That's they quite could a good also team. Fit they bring back <laughs> guy in as well instead of Carl Mayers. I mean, that, that still makes yeah. sense to me. That, but yeah, yeah. I mean, they'll they'll do that as well. And that could be someone entirely new. Paul Sterling yeah. maybe will get his finally get his chance. Yeah, cool. Is, I, I, yeah and so that's what I think. So yeah, I they can kind of see because they've dropped those players, but yeah, not by any stretch of the imagination, a disaster class, I don't think so. I'll tell you what, in the concept of everyone else has been given C's, should we give them a B? You're trying That's to make it a bit less oceanic. Oh, yeah. I am, yeah. Let's um, go. Next one, next team. Rajasthan Royals. Um, Rajasthan. My boys, my pretty boys in pink. Um, I've given them a, I've given them a, a B. I think I think they've done. Oh. I think I think they've done okay. Um, the the thing that everyone knows they should have done, they should have got rid of Devdutt Padakal. Right. Yeah. Um, why do they need him? That is my 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 view on this. And um, they should have got that money for the auction so they could play with the big boys a little bit more. Um, their problem spot has been that kind of six or seven power hitter finishing off the innings for them. Hetmeyer had an unbelievably good. IPL this year so if he gets on the plane or we're gonna be hoping for greatness from him <laughs> again um but Rian, Rian Parag a couple of decent enough innings but that six spot is so so important and we, we saw them going into games completely lopsided um and they got away with it because they had Joss Butler um and Sanju Sampson having great years but I think they need a bit more of an insurance policy 13 craw doesn't really give them a load of space to work with. Um, they did, however, get rid of Rassi van der Dussen, uh, which is good. Daryl Mitchell goes, um, who they kind of bought in the in the fire sale at the end of last year's auction. Um, and then the only bit I was surprised at is that they got rid of Jimmy Neesham. Um, I kind of thought for that kind of one and a half craw, actually, he's probably an okay option as that number seven mm. if they needed to play overseas. Up. Yeah, um, one of him and Mitchell. Would... Yeah, and... So I, 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 th I, th I think, again, they'll be able to get similar players back for around that fee. So I don't think they'd worry too much. But Jimmy Nisham is a left-handed batsman whose figures at the death have been pretty good batting-wise. Um, could have been quite useful. But yeah, I'm not sure they've given themselves enough to get themselves a, a power middle-order player. Um, Ash, we're but, batting at three again. But we'll see. Well, so. I think... I think the other problem they they might have is that there's not really an Indian option. Like I, the so they've kept Hetmeyer, they've kept Butler, they have kept Bolt, they've kept McCoy. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they were the four overseas players that they started the season with. 
yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Like they 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 don't they 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 need I think they're going to need two seam bowling overseas players. Hetmyer and Butler aren't going to get dropped. Um, so unless they get an all rounder in to to replace Obed McCoy, then I I think they have to have an a, a, use an Indian player at, at mm. sort of in 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 there in there at six or seven. Jason um, Holder's available. I, they well, I don't even know if they've got enough money, have they? For, got for 13, what was the purse again? Thirteen core. Maybe, maybe they can get a holder. Maybe they can get somebody like a holder. Um, they've got sixteen players. They probably want to get twenty twenty one, don't they? In the in the squad overall. Um, so yeah, I mean, maybe they'd be in play for that next tier down. Wouldn't also be stunned if if this team bought Stokes. I was going to literally get... taking my next note. He's played from before, and I don't think it's a great already. idea. But <laughs> uh, I, I, I wouldn't be. Uh, I would Stokes is going to go somewhere, and I think it's probably going to be a stupid decision because I think he is. Unless you play him in a very specific role, not quite up to it with the bat. Um, bowling was better at the World Cup, but I don't know if that will transfer to India. And it's a World Cup year, and it's an Ashes year, so I think anything goes wrong. And he's got he one knee. Yeah. So uh, it's... yeah, that is fair. Um, the only other bit I thought, and we've not really talked about it on this podcast, is how some teams have utilised the trading system, and other teams just kind of haven't been able to. I thought Rajasthan Royals actually probably had a couple of players that they could have potentially involved in some of those and tried to go after and solve a problem for themselves with trade. Um, so it's a bit of a surprise not to see them do such a thing. Yeah. Uh, so we've got one more team to go. Uh, we have. It's uh, the Almeda Bad Boys or Gujarat Titans. Su- Champs Supreme. Um, I have given these guys a B um, because they've got themselves 19 and a bit craw. Um, they managed to keep hold of VJ Shankar, which is uh, good for anyone um, if we if they know what's good for them. Um, Lockie Ferguson, get rid of him for 10 Pro. Um, I can see why they've done it. Um, and then Gerbaz wasn't really needed when they've got Matt Wade and Riddiman Saha. Um, I do think they need a bit of power play intent, but I do think when I'm looking at this side is that this is a, this is a bunch of misfits, I think is how I saw it described earlier. Um, and I think this team are one of the ones in the Agarwal hunt, if I'm perfectly honest. I think this is what they're looking for, and that's what they freed up to to do it. They don't need that many more players. Yeah, I'd I'd probably roughly agree with that. Uh, they're probably they one not I'm not one of the they're a team that have got sort of five and six kind of sorted out with David Miller, um, Matt Wade two point and Rashid Khan and Tawatia, and Tawatia. In that. yeah. And if you really need him, Hardik can do it too. Um, so I don't, I don't, and, and I think because of Hardik, they don't actually, they actually don't need to play the all-rounder market. They're, they're kind of, they're kind of set up pretty nicely. Um, and I, I think you're probably right. I, I wonder, I wonder who the four overseas players are going to be. So David Miller, you'd think. Yeah. Rashid Khan. Rashid Khan. Alzari uh, Joseph, one of Alzari Joseph or Nor Ahmed. Yeah, are they gonna make? Are they gonna try and pick up a seamer on the cheap, maybe to to help them out in in that area? No, I, do, still, I, I still don't really know what they are or whether they're good. I mean, I know they won it last year, but they were like hitting two sixes off the last two balls in every other match. It, it felt like <laughs> there's a lot of regression uh, to the mean potential, isn't there? Here, there yeah, is, yeah. And, and like, that is. That's I why really I, wouldn't be surprised if they won it again. Or if they finish bottom, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I quite, I quite like it. But again, I think ten crore for Lockie was, uh, it was a, they, they won the league, great. But I think they've done the right thing here. They've given themselves yeah. enough to, to do that. We'll do what Ferguson said: like, do a bit of a rebuild, keep the core, and um, yeah, Alec, keep, not keep, Lockie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex, Alex Ferguson, sorry. Um, so yeah, I think yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they went with Agarwal. Then you've got Shubgoat opening up um, with someone like Agarwal. That's that's not too bad. It's okay, I still I still want a bit more firepower. But then, but they've got the firepower in the middle middle overs, right? So yeah. I kind of think they're, they're, they're going they're, they're going classical. They're, they're they're set up to let's see off the first twelve overs and then go ballistic in the last eight. And actually, yeah, I mean, like if they, they can had... do that to the extreme. If uh, this been, we've we've given Agarwal to a bunch of teams, but we might as well carry on doing this. If, <laughs> if Agarwal, if you had <laughs> Agarwal, here's the deal, person. Like I don't know, Aban Manahar, Hardik as your top four, and then it went uh, Miller, Wade, Rashid Khan, or Miller, Wade, Tuatia, Rashid Khan. You should be able to catch up 
Uh, and especially, actually, especially when they buy Daniel Sams. Agarwal, Agarwal's a pretty decent player when he when he goes for it. Like you know, last season was a bit of an aberration. He's he's generally speaking been quite a quick mm. scorer. Oh, Dan Weston wouldn't have suggested that Punjab Kings get Mayank Agarwal if he didn't have some intent. Yeah, I, I think um, I think Daniel Sams is a really astute pick there, Max. I think I think that'd be quite a good little addition to this side actually, because you don't have to play Matt Wade, right? In, in that room, right. oh, you could, you've got rid of Masaha, who is a, he's not as good as Matthew Wade. Matthew Wade's not bloody brilliant, let's be fair, lads. But um, I think that gives him a nice flexibility and Daniel Sams would add to this team. Maybe. Mm. Right. Um, that's the end of our judgments. Yeah. If you agree, let us know in the, in the YouTube uh, comments or follow us on Twitter at The Cricket Pod. If you disagree, um, also let us know. Yeah. Uh, we'll tell you have, why you're wrong. <laughs> do we have any questions to go through? We have 20 questions to go through. Um, well, but we so might be a separate show. Bundle that up into another show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for sending them in. They're they're all really good, and we and we will get to them. Um, but IPL Q and A incoming. We've done an hour, um, <laughs> and we we would easily do an extra half an hour getting through these twenty questions. So Fair okay. enough. En- enjoy that. Thanks for listening, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Like, subscribe. You're listening to the Cricket Podcast.